God is constantly involved in several things. Number one, the Bible said those that are planted in the house of the Lord. The proper translation here would be those who are transplanted in the house of the Lord shall flourish. Now here, the transplant is what you do with a plant when it's in a pot that's too small. And you have to take it from the pot that it's in and remove it and place it in another environment that is more conducive to its growth. And what God does from time to time is he says, now your growth is stunted because your tree can grow no higher than your roots will allow. And if you have a plant that's in a pot that's too small, it doesn't matter how much you command it to grow. It can't because its roots have to spread out. And if I can get my roots to spread out, I can get my tree to grow up. And many of us are trying to get your tree to grow up, but your roots need to spread out. So what God does is he transplant you. He, he takes you from one environment and places you in another environment that is more uh, conducive for the tree he wants to produce in your life. So what God does from time to time is move you from certain situations, separate you from one thing. And he separates you from that thing because he says that place will not nourish you anymore. God said the place that you've been getting nourishment from before is not sufficient for what I'm trying to do next. And so I have to separate you from that so I can take you into the next. Don't get nervous when you see God separating you from certain environments. He's challenging the people that you hang around. He's challenging the mentality that you hang with. He's challenging the things that you think. He's trying to expand your imagination because God said for what I want to do in your life, your pot is too small. What I'm trying to give you, your mentality is too small. You hang around with small-minded people, with small-thinking people. And if you hang around with small-minded people, you'll get small things. So, so i got to expose you to great-thinking people. Even if you're not there yet and you're not in that situation yet, i got to at least expose you to it. Because it's not where you've been, it's where you're going. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Separation, I'm trying to tell somebody, was just part of the process. And I hear somebody getting nervous right now saying, God, you separated me from everybody I knew, everybody I was comfortable with. God said, I took you out of your comfort zone. And the plant is nervous for a few minutes because I've been uprooted from the comfort zone. Some people are so busy trying to hang on to what they was into that they can't embrace what they're going into. And God said, if you just trust me, I'm going to put you in something better. I'm going to put you on a better job. I'm going to put you in a better situation. I'm going to put you in a better relationship. Somebody look up to somebody and say, better. Yeah. Oh, this one I'm putting you in now is going to be better for your soul. And look at the plant. Look how uncomfortable the plant is. See, when I was in my little small pot, I was in my comfort zone, and I was cool, calm, and collected, but I wasn't growing at all, but I was at least comfortable. And God said, now you're in a new environment. When you're in a new environment, you feel kind of funny. You're the, you're the new kid on the block, and you're not really sure if you fit in. But God said, just sit still for a while, because after a while, I'm going to cause that which is in you to show up on you. Oh, oh, oh. God said, don't worry that you're the new person on the job or the new person in the neighborhood or, or the new person in the ministry. God said, I'm about to grow your plant. I love when God transplants you because God doesn't release you from anything if he's not going to take you into something better. See, if the devil cuts you off, he cuts you off to kill you. Because that's his job, to steal, kill, and destroy. So when he separates you from people and separates you from opportunity, it's to kill you. But God said, when I separate you, it's to let you know that you don't need that anymore. It, it, it may not even be that it was a bad thing. It doesn't always have to be a bad thing. See, every relationship is not a bad relationship. Every situation is not a bad situation. It's just that it's not big enough to hold the vision that you have. Anybody got a big vision in here? Anybody God's been showing you glimpses of your future? Anybody God's been messing with your mind saying, God, this doesn't look like what I'm into now, but God said, don't worry about it. I'm about to transplant. Oh, look at somebody and say, my mind is changing. See, as long as my mind was small, I was comfortable hanging out with small-minded people. As long as I was hanging with people that wasn't going anywhere, we were all rocking in the boat together. But as soon as I got in my mind that there was something else greater for me, it got uncomfortable for me and I just couldn't stay here. I 
I'm not trying to be funny or anything. I just don't have time to talk to you anymore like I used to. I got my hands on something and I can't argue with you like I used to and I can't hang out with you like I used to because so the things I want to do, I got to get up early in the morning and work all day because God is giving me vision. You can sleep if you want to. But I'm... Where my destiny chasers at? Where my God chasers at in this room? Where my people at that say, I got to get after it. I ain't got time to waste playing with people. I ain't got to waste time arguing with people. I ain't got time to hang up the phone. Get off the Facebook. Shut down the social media. Because I got something to do. Anybody here got something to do for God? You better get about it. Look at somebody and say, you better get about it. Because God is the gardener. He knows how we wouldn't even go on our own. So he doesn't ask you if you want to go. He just starts uprooting your life. And your client saying, God, what are you trying to do, kill me? God said, I'm trying to bless you. I have to take you out of this. I don't even ask you if you want it. Because I know what I got for you. You wouldn't be able to handle it if I told you. So I just got to snatch you out of a situation. Anybody God ever snatched out of a situation? Anybody been tied up in a relationship or tied up in a situation or tied up on a job or tied up in a mentality and had God snatch you out of it? Oh, you're not going to talk to me in here. Where are my people that ever been snatched out of something? I wasn't even looking for this. One day I changed my mind and said, I'm out of here. I'm done with that. I know you said I did it just yesterday, but that was yesterday. And this is today. I'm... Slap you people and say, I got to get out of this. He moves me. He transplants me. He, 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 he leads me away from it. And anything I had to leave in my history is not important for my destiny. Oh, if what you left was important for your destiny, God would have left you there. So if God left it there, it's because whatever is blessing you is going to be ahead of you. Look at somebody and say, I'm not looking at my rear view mirror. Everything I need is in front of me. That's why the windshield on your car is bigger than the mirror in your car. Because whatever's behind you is this small, but what God got for you is this big. Throw your arms open and embrace what God said for you because it's... Oh, you ain't going to do it. Somebody throw your arms open and say, I'm getting ready for this much. This much. This much joy. This much peace. This much victory. This much anointing. This much blessing. Clap your hands and give God praise if you're getting right up. Sit down, I got some more for you.